what's going on everybody? It is Mike Mintz from Smarkly, and today we're showing you how to build a page just like this that looks incredible on tablets, on phones, on any device. This page can be built with Smarkly pretty easily as you're about to see. And we can have this up on your Shopify store in about 10 minutes. We're gonna start our work in a blank template right like this and grab the container element. I'm gonna click the pencil, go to the inspector and hit attributes and then delete container. Now with this empty container is where the magic happens because now I can drag a row in there and it's completely responsive. As you can see, if I click on it, it says div, it's a div. That makes the whole top of my page its own unique section. Guys, do you realize this allows you to style it with whatever color you want? I could use an image background. So you could see that this will make this entire top section its own thing apart from what's below it. And it's completely responsive on any device. So here we're gonna edit the columns on that row. We're gonna make it two columns because that's what I wanna show here. And what you're gonna see is I can make what looks like the page header, right? That's the top of the page. So right here, I'm dragging in an image element. I'm selecting the image from my computer and boom, I've got a logo, okay? Now, if I wanna put contact information to the right, I just drag the paragraph element in, it allows me to type whatever I want. And here you can see I'm putting in my email, my contact information. Now for styling, it's very easy. I go back to the inspector, I go ahead and tell it where I want it spaced. On this case, I'll put the email to the right. The logo is gonna be bolded uh, in the middle and I can add a little padding. That's just to make the spacing look really good. All right, and all this is done from the inspector, which I can get to by clicking the pencil icon. Okay, now we wanna create the next section. I drag in a new container. Remember, containers are the sections. I go to attributes. I'm gonna delete the container attribute, which gives me an empty column. I can then go ahead and do whatever I want in this container. I can change the background color. It's now completely responsive and it is its own independent section. So here we make it this really nice lighter orange and we're gonna go ahead and drag some elements in there. So the first thing is of course the row, right? Because I like this sort of two column thing I have going. I click edit column, I pick the two rows and I save and close. From there I can drag in content. I drag in a header and I can have a great title here, a paragraph right under the header, same column, and now I can type what I want. And we're gonna put a little button in there, okay? You see, so all these are just elements I grab and drag right in. I style them by clicking the pencil. Here we're gonna change the background color of the button to a pinkish red, and we're gonna change the header, the text to be, let's say, I don't know, a little bolder, a little different color. We want it to stand out. You know, this is sort of like our title text. And as far as the button's concerned, we're gonna fix the colors there. And it's just brilliant. I can bold it very easily, different weights. And uh, now to the right, I wanna put an image. So we just go, we grab our image element, we drag it in, I click the image, brings up whatever's on my computer, and I slap it right in there. What's really cool is it will automatically resize to the column size. So you see, that looks great. And the styling options are really robust. I mean, we could do a ton of stuff here. I could add padding, I could change sort of where things sit, how bold they are, right? I'm in complete control. Now, we click the pencil icon to do our link options. I can have a pop-up show, a certain link, a form, whatever I want. And now we wanna go ahead and grab another container and drop it in, because we're gonna make a third section on our page. So we hit the attributes, delete the container class, and we've got that empty column. Same thing as before, we grab ourselves a row, we throw it in that empty column, and now I can make the decision as to what I wanna do with that row. So for this div, what I wanna do is make the background of it an image. So I go background, image, media manager, and I select an image from my computer. I then can decide the size, it can be automatic, cover, or contained, which is fixed. I make cover, so it zooms in a little bit, it's a little more responsive. And you can see that the image is right behind my columns, which I'm now editing, okay, to be two columns, so that it matches what's above it, all right? Very easy to do. Now in that column, what we wanna do is grab a paragraph element. We're gonna make a label for the video that we wanna drop into this left-hand column. So I click the pencil icon, I center it, and I go back to the elements and grab the video element. I stick it in the same column right underneath the paragraph. 
Now, I click the pencil icon and I wanna make this 100% width, okay, 100%, and that'll make it responsive to the container. Then I simply drag it downwards to change the height. I now have a responsive video element. For the video, I wanna put some information, okay? So I'm gonna make myself a header element inside that right-hand column. I just drag it right over and stick it in the column. Next, I grab a paragraph element, drop it right under the header. Next, I'm gonna make a button for my call to action. So I'll duplicate the one I created above and drag it underneath the paragraph element. It's within the same column. Next, I want a new row underneath the row I just worked on. So I drag one right underneath the two column row. And as you can see, we've got our standard default of three columns. I click the pencil icon to edit the columns. I'm gonna make these three columns the same size. And that's just one click to do that. Next, I'm gonna drag a header between the three column row I just created and the two column row that was above it. So now I've got this header. And here I wanna talk about other devices that this page might be selling. So I can just type that right in and then style it by clicking the pencil icon, going to the inspector, I'm gonna center it, and it's above these three columns that I created. Now in these three columns, I'm gonna drag the image element. And a real quick way of getting this done is I could just duplicate it three times and then drag the image elements into each of the three columns. Then I'm gonna go and click on the pencil icon to open the inspector and center each of these within the column. And you can see that makes it look nice. Now I hit the image icon, I select the images I want from my computer and those resize perfectly inside the column space provided. It's really just, you know, click, click, click and I'm done. Now to clean up these elements that I've put in, I just hit the inspector, which I get to through the pencil icon. I can add padding or spacing or whatever I want. So we make it look really, really clean. And the next thing we're gonna do is add a new container. Now you guys have done this step, I think four or five times already. We want a new section. We click the pencil icon and open up the inspector. And again, remember we want this section like the rest of the page to be mobile responsive, very easy. I just hit the attributes and I'm gonna delete the container class. That makes this mobile responsive. And remember, the reason we're doing this with containers is these are new sections of the page. So here I'm changing the background color. Again, in the inspector, I choose the color and I've got this gray color that's underneath my photo background. Uh, I'm just gonna add some padding, which again, through the inspector, so that it looks good when I drop this paragraph element in, I've got some nice space here. And you can see the paragraph text is there. And um, we're gonna go ahead and hit the pencil icon, center the paragraph text. We're gonna add some padding so the paragraph text moves down from the top of the container. And then uh, we're gonna work on the color here because you can't really see it. So we're making the color of the text very light. And now it stands out beautifully. And you can see now the page is really starting to come together. Guys, I mean, we built this completely from scratch. Not hard to do. Um, I'm cleaning up different elements now, again, just by clicking on them going to the inspector, adding some padding, uh, different space. And as you can see, I've got this beautiful product page, which looks amazing on any device, whether we're looking at a phone, tablet, laptop, and I can check out what that looks like by clicking on the different uh, device icons. Um, and you can see, I, if I wanna make any changes, it's just as simple as clicking and uh, making the changes, whether it's font size, or whatever, okay? If I want this to look a little different, um, you know, for the phone, I want it to look better, I can always just resize. Everything is just dragging, clicking, super easy to do. And you can see, guys, this looks pretty amazing for something we created in under 10 minutes. It looks awesome on all three devices. And that's pretty much how you do it. I hope this was a helpful tutorial to you guys. If you have any questions, you can always hit our knowledge base, submit a ticket. Um, we're here to help you and really enjoy yourself creating the most amazing landing pages on Shopify. Thanks for watching.